Welcome, uh, Cancer, to your reading. I'm Scorpio Moon, intuition bring messages from spirit. This reading is general and it may or may not resonate with you. Take what resonates and leave the rest. And if you'd like to book a personal reading with me, you can do so at www.scorpiomoonintuition.com. This reading is for Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. Cross Watcher, if you're the ones watching this, then it may resonate with you. So let's begin. If you're wearing headphones, please lower the volume. I welcome in my spirit guides and holy angels, nice and great is good. I welcome messages of love and light that bring hell and love to all. Please bless this reading. Thank you. All right, so let's go ahead and get into the reading and see who is the person that you're connected to at this time and what is going on in the present moment. So let's find out. Spirit, can you please reveal to me clear messages that regards the person who is connected to cancer in love? What can you reveal to me about this person's energy? Thank you, Spirit. You know, I, I keep seeing that someone wants to explain themselves and y you just really don't believe them is what I'm getting here, Cancer. So um, I'm really getting that no matter whatever they say, you just... You really can't take um, what they say as truth. At least that's the visual that I'm picking up here so far. So Spirit, can you tell me what else is going on with this person connected to cancer? Wow. All right. Any other messages I want to come through? Okay. So we have you full. And it says, let's keep our inner child ageless and maintain youthful forever. And also we have waiting. Waiting for your return hasn't been easy, but I'm still hopeful. And finally, we have healing. I'm healing those parts of me I avoided for so long. So maybe this was that conversation that I was seeing, um, you know, from your person. I have a feeling like you've known this person uh, for some time. And um, they have been waiting uh, for you to come back, you know, and they've been healing. So again, going back to the conversation, trying to get your attention, but I have a feeling like cancer, you don't believe them. You know, um, they're hoping that you would open up to them. I'm really hearing like, Hey, cancer, do you remember, you know, um, back in the day, Okay, when we were young, you know, that kind of thing, right? Um, you know, trying to go down on memory lane and cancer, I'm hearing that you're not having any of it. Okay, but this person is saying that they are trying to heal from their past. So let's see. Um, Spirit, can you tell me a little bit more about this person's energy? What can you feel to me about this person's energy that is connected to cancer? What else can you reveal to me about this person's energy? Thank you, Spirit. Please clarify the energies of this person who is waiting on cancer and also their healing from the past. And one final message, please Spirit, about this person towards the sign of cancer. Final message, please, Spirit. Okay. Well, that, that was more than enough, right? <laughs> we have mastery. You have learned the spiritual lesson. Also, here and now, your true love is already a part of your life. 
and also we have self-care clear your energy field and focus on yourself before acting and apology you can expect the apology you want to hear so again okay uh, like right before i even started pulling cards because i saw that there was a person who wanted to talk to you and you wouldn't take you know whatever their apology it must be their apology that um they wanted to you know express and they're just waiting you know for you to accept them you know or whatever the situation that went down you know again they're practicing self-care so they are healing and they are trying to overcome the past so it's really a matter you know ball is in your court cancer um that that was the major feeling that i got and it's really showing up here in, in the cards that you've known this person for some time. They try to approach you and ask for your forgiveness. But I really feel like cancer, you can't accept you can't accept it for whatever reason. Okay? So maybe they've hurt you, um, and and they're aware and they wanna know, you know, would you forgive them? You know, hence we see here the apology and they are really working on themselves okay so um yeah i, I have a feeling i have to stick up for your person here so and i know everyone's situation is going to be different but let's go ahead and check the tarot and see where is this person's energy at when it comes to you how are they currently thinking how are they feeling what do they want and what is the outcome what is the energy surrounding this person towards you at this time? What is the energy and vibe? So they want balance. I really feel like maybe you guys are in the same social circles and everybody knows each other and they just want to be fair. Um, and there's some gossip that's been going around, like cheating and having an affairs. And um, and that's the thing. Maybe, you know, that's the apology. They want to apologize for, you know, their in and out behavior. And I really feel like for some, there was another woman. And I'm getting baby mama vibes, okay? So that's not for everyone. But I definitely have to feel like uh, I need to point that out for someone specific. Now, I see that they want to move on and heal from this and they're accepting by letting go of the past, you know, but sometimes they really feel pessimistic because they did cheat. So again, you know, um, maybe you're taking it to heart. Maybe you're holding on to whatever that this person has done towards you in the past. They know that they, they were cruel or they treated you badly and they're really hurt by it. Okay. After the fact, right? I get that. So it's because, you know, they're dealing with a karmic and, um, they possibly lied to you about the karmic situation and that kind of caused trouble between you, them, and maybe the other person. And they were trying to end it with them, but they, they couldn't. So I have a feeling like this is a reading for my cancers who was dealing with somebody. They had someone else also. Maybe you're aware of it, Cancer. You were hoping that this person would turn a new leaf and just choose you but it was a toss-up between you and the past person and um you know they're not happy they're really stressed and they're trying to come up with some sort of idea because you know they really didn't um offer you their feelings okay at the time uh, they're holding back right now to express this because they feel like now is not the time to be expressing their undying love towards you because I feel like they needed to apologize and they probably already know that you want to accept their apology. They're starting to see that you were the one that always made them happy, okay? But now um, they're having arguments with the other person and um, for some, your, your individual is married, okay? Or in a, a relationship with someone else and that is why they didn't know which way to go, you know, in a sense that they were being distracted. So again, you know, you could be the third party, technically, if this person was married to someone else, 
Okay, so that must ring true for some of you that is actually watching this. But, you know, they are afraid of change and they are looking towards the future to make a decision about this third party situation. And I really feel like they know that you're always caring, you know, very compassionate and giving and they want to give back towards you. So this person is sincere. Now, everyone's situation is going to be a little bit different, you know, because they still could be with that person. But let's see. Now, their thoughts when it comes to you is that they know that they didn't treat you right. Okay. It, it wasn't the best. They already know this. Um, that's why there was an ending. And with that end came change. So they definitely want to show you that they have change and they want to do whatever it takes, you know, to kind of win your trust back. And right now, they they don't feel good enough for you. Okay, they keep thinking about the good times you both had. And they definitely want to put in some effort to work on this situation. And right now, okay, their intent is to break up with the karmic okay because they haven't been honest so if your person has another individual that they were also seeing they realize that they need to let go of that individual so that they can progress and move forward towards you now in the outcome okay so they're trying to overcome those obstacles by thinking about what happened and they realize that again they don't feel good so this person is guilty they know it I mean, what else can they do to make it right? That's why I really feel like in the very, very beginning, right? Um, you want to accept this person's uh, apology because they possibly did something to you that was, you know, hurtful. And I'm seeing it here in the outcome. They really want to be loyal, okay? Because they are a type of committed person. But right now, I really feel like they're focused on doing the right thing. So you may get communication about the gossip. And that's why they've been holding back. But just know, they want to return. This could happen in August. Okay. They're just afraid of offering a commitment to you, especially if they're already in one. They don't feel like they can give it to you right now, but they definitely want to move forward to a point where they feel better about this. So, you know, cancer, unfortunately, um, yes, they want to reconcile with you. At least they wanted to apologize. Is that apology going to lead to a relationship? I don't think so. At least they want to say sorry about what happened. And then a little bit down the road, okay, when things have settled down, that's when I feel like things will progress. That is what I'm saying. So if there is a person in your life that wants to apologize, accept their apology, okay, and then move on. <laughs> and then because it seems like you're not budging also. So you can accept their apology and then in, in due time, they will return and make a, a more solid or tangible offer towards you. But I really feel like this person has a karmic partner or another individual that they were dealing with. Okay. So spirit, what is the confession uh, that this person has towards you at this time? What is the confession that they have towards cancer? What is the confession? All right. So it says, you're my destination. I seek my reason to grow. And I love that you can see my truth, but it scares the shit out of me too. So they, they feel like you're psychic and you already know. Okay. Which I did see in the very beginning, but, um, yeah, this person needs time. That's why I have. So, you know, don't completely shut them off. Always save space, right? You know, give them the benefit of the doubt. Does that mean, you know, uh, open up towards them and, you know, like forget everything? No. You know, still still hold on to whatever that they've done because that way you can set healthy boundaries with them in the future. So what is the guidance spirit that you have for cancer 
in love. Oh. All right, I'll take this top one. And it says, dearest you, pump up the music and bang the drums. Get on up and start that hustle toward your goals and dreams. There are times to be still, but this is not one of them. Now's the time to make that first move. Say yes to life and pick up the phone and make that decision. And then take that one step towards the gods or us. Expect a cascade of changes, good news, and opportunities to show up as if by magic well we know it's really spirit and all of us moving things around for your benefit the point is that we are saying go for it take positive action towards your dreams even if the outcome isn't an exact fit up for your agenda it will all be orchestrated by spirit and arrive in divine appropriate timing don't you just love how it all works we love you so so much so whatever you're thinking cancer get up and do it okay if i'm talking about the cross watcher go ahead and pick up the phone and call cancer okay it really doesn't matter if you feel like cancer is going to reject you or not the point is is that you made an effort and you're sending out your intention to the universe and so uh, things will kind of uh, perpetuate into reality right that's why uh, spirit is saying go for it you know, now's the time for manifesting if this is what you want, you know. Um, but yeah, that's what I see. So I hope that that was helpful. Let me know. Thank you all for watching. And if you'd like to book a personal reading with me, you can do so at www.scorpiomoonintuition.com. You can also follow me on IG at Scorpio Moon Intuition. I hope you all have a lovely day and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.